Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We're back with Super Film Support. Remember, you can go to superfilmsupport.com, ask any film questions, and I'll answer you here on YouTube. Today's question didn't come through Super Film Support, came through email, but I do try to answer those emails too, if they could be a video uh, answer. So in this case, it goes related to last week's episode of where do I put my lens and the focal uh, you know, length of a lens respect to the back of the film uh, back. And this might seem very obvious to a lot of people and I'm glad if it seems obvious to you, this is not the video for you then. This is for those people that don't think this is obvious and maybe helps them understand photography medium format or large format better. So this question goes all about uh, the Mamiya RZ67 and using tilt or shift. As you know, the Mamiya RZ67 has a tilt lens, which is the 75 millimeter uh, tilt. I made a whole video about it. I'll link it up here. And that lens is the only one that can do tilt only, uh, just attached to the body with anything else. There's no other lens that can do tilt shift unless you use an adapter. So that adapter comes at a different, uh, it's basically an adapter you buy from Mamiya or you would buy from Mamiya that would let you use tilt and shift uh, with all lenses. And that's the principle. You could use all lenses, but there were two specific lenses that were made for what they called uh, the adapter called SB, short barrel. What the short barrel means, it means that instead of having the normal focal length, the lens would be shorter in its construction to counteract for that uh, adapter. So this is the 75 SB that you probably can see on camera B, uh, not probably so good because it's really small, but this is the 75 SB, that means short barrel. This means that if I attach this lens on this camera right now without the adapter, I can't achieve focus. It's kind of just doesn't work properly. It needs a spacer. I would probably have to rack out like the front of, uh, of the camera a lot to get some sort of focus, if even I can, I haven't tested it out. But that happens because the tilt shift adapter would change, like I say, that plane of where the lens would stay and counteract that for infinity, okay? I'm making a mess of myself. What happens? Lenses are achieved, like focus is achieved at infinity when the camera is all like that. So the bellows are not extended, they're all collapsed. And this would be infinity with any normal lens with the 110 that I have here, the 50, the 65, all the lenses in the Mamiya RZ uh, system that are not SB, short barrel. If we took off this lens, which we can, let me just do that, and we place the adapter, that adapter eats up 20 millimeters or so. I haven't found the exact measurement. I have found the picture of it and I'll leave it on the screen right now. That is the SB adapter or the tilt shift. So if you're using the tilt shift, it would be around 20 millimeters. You would put this lens on it. And once that lens is sitting on it, which would have that space, which would be the bellows. We have some at the store. I just haven't been able to find them. I've gone crazy for an hour. And this will let you do a shift and tilt with this lens, this lens only, and a 180 millimeter SB. So Mamiya did a 75 SB and a 180 SB. In this case, the person asking the question said, I wanna use wider lenses so I can have more you know, control. 75 is a little long. Sadly, the widest you can go is the 75 SB, or if not, you go to the 180 SB. These were mostly made for some architectural use, but mostly for tabletop photography to do shame flume and focus all different planes of focus and so on. What happens? The SB lenses can be used without the tilt shift adapter, but for that, you need that extra like extension ring that they sold called the SB uh, adapter. So you would basically adapt it just like as a dummy uh, spacer with contacts for the electronics because the lenses are controlled electronically on the Mami RZ and that would be how you shoot. What happens, and this is the question he was asking, if instead of using the SB lenses, I grabbed and I put the tilt shift adapter and I put the 110. What would happen is that you would never be able to achieve infinity focus and probably nothing to like around a meter. So you would only be able to focus for a meter or closer, just if like if you were adding macro rings. You could do movements and you can do everything normally because the lens will uh, mount properly, but you won't be able to achieve focus at any normal distance for architectural shots or landscape and so on. So that's the main problem. If you really, really want to do movements with a medium format, I've made tons of videos about it, but I would highly recommend 
you go the route of other cameras. There's the six by nine cameras that are like technical cameras. You can also use six by nine or six by seven backs on large format and so on. But this would not be the solution for you. I'm really sorry that this is not the case. Like I said, the, the thing is the adapter would make it macro. So you would only be able to achieve focus at a cl much closer distance than infinity, probably something unusable for any of the uses you need. But yeah, it can be done. Uh, I hope that answered the question. I know it's a little bit of a niche and I wish I had the adapter. That's why I was gonna do this video today, but you get the idea. If you put an adapter, you need a lens that has a shorter flange distance, which in this case, or a shorter barrel, which would be the short barrel of the SB. If you use a normal lens, you are actually converting that lens sort of into a macro because it's like a macro ring. You could do movements and so on. I hope that helped. As always, remember Superfilm Support is sponsored basically by Patreons and PayPal donations. I'll leave the link below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.